Hey guys, it's Ben. Acme Mowing. Acme Mowing and Lawn Care. AcmeMowing.com. How's it going? And happy Wednesday to you. Man, season's almost done for us. How about you guys? Where are you at? Uh, I see they're getting a lot of rain off to the east there. We haven't had any rain in a week. We got a chance of thunderstorms on Saturday, but that's it. It's been in the 70s here. We're going to get up to the 80s, uh, I think, tomorrow, and then it's going to drop right back down into the 60s. So our season's almost done. I hope yours continues a little bit longer, but it looks like we're going to be a little bit short this year. Uh, not another shop thing ben can't we please go out and go to a property or something you were going to do that guys we're going to do that but first uh steel sent me some line to, to look at i told you guys in the last video that sometimes they send us stuff and they sent us this cf3 line about four months ago uh i already had a gigantic reel of it uh we used the rest of that up and now we're, we're halfway through that and they wanted me to say some things about it uh, and I do have some things to say about that CF3 line, but before we get started, let me show you what I was using. Uh, well, I, I still am using it. Uh, I'll explain in a minute. This is that Oregon Gator line. I really like it. Uh, this is the latest stuff that we've been using, uh, and it's, I really like it. It has some flaws, but we're not going to go into those today because we didn't t come to talk about the Oregon line. We came to talk about the steel CF3. But I also wanted to mention, because it's important, uh, we got this uh, Green Touch Industries uh, Piranha line. Man, I don't know if you can see. It is. You can cut yourself on that. That is just serrated and tough. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't break easily. Uh, but there are special uses for this. We love this line, and we'll always keep this line on our trailer now. Because, as you know, if you've been watching the channel, we do a lot of larger properties, a lot of estate properties and uh, they're surrounded by farmland and sometimes woods. So those edges there tend to get a little bit brambly and a little bit thicker. Uh, really not uh, made for this kind of line. You need something a little bit more uh, hefty for that. And that's why we carry this on our trailer. But uh, those same properties, we have to trim around their houses and around their uh, you know, fence posts, maybe wooden. Uh, you know, so you have to be a little bit more gentle. Because these wooden fences, man, this stuff will, will tear a hole right through a wooden fence in no time. You just slip a little bit, and man, it's bad. Uh, but the Oregon line's a little bit more forgiving, uh, and we use this uh, as like an all-purpose line. Um, if it's not too bad, jungly wise you know, all overgrown and stuff, we'll use this Oregon line. Uh, in the residential, you just got to be a little bit careful with it around the wooden fences, etc., because this, again will damage a fence in a pretty quick hurry. Uh, and then we've been using this steel. Like I said, we bought this stuff for ourselves last year. We had a reel of it and we used it and we really liked it. It's, uh, I don't know, it's very durable uh, for our purposes. We use it residentially. We don't use it on those um, overgrown areas. Like I said, we got special line for that. We use this to go around those delicate areas. So just let me mention a few things that I like about it. And then I'm also going to mention one thing that I didn't find so cool. Uh, it's very durable uh, for what it is for the residential uh, property. Uh, it's very durable. I really like it. It's, uh, it's very pliable, which, you know, it's not stiff. It's not hard to load up into your spools. We use the speed feed uh, spools, but it's nice and, and bendable, right? So you get something like the Oregon line. It's a little bit more stiff and a little bit more unmanageable and it's, I don't know. Uh, this stuff feeds great out of a reel, I'll tell you that. The CF3 line, it's a little bit more expensive than your average line. Uh, but the thing about it is it probably lasts a lot longer than your average line. Uh, in our case, we figure it's about two times, uh, we got two times uh, the use out of the spool of this than we did with a previous spool of something else. So the CF line, CF3 line is very durable and we like it for that. We like it for trimming around the delicates. We like it for trimming around wooden fences. Uh, we like it for um, edging conditionally. Uh, and that's where my not so great comes in, I think, uh, for this. Um, I love it for edging 
the shorter properties. When we're not spinning those reels on the trimmer too much, we just got an acre property. It's got a normal driveway and a sidewalk and we edge that uh, and no problem whatsoever. Uh, it's the bigger properties. When we have like a, we've got one property that has a wraparound driveway. It's a lot of edging guys and a lot of sidewalk too. So we do a lot of edging. And when we try to edge with this CF3 line for that duration, cause it's like, I don't know, it's, it's like a good half hour at least of edging. Uh, we find that the end of the CF3 line, I don't know if you can see it, uh, it frays and it like feathers out. It, it splits apart. The, this line is actually made up of three separate components. You can see the three different colors. Uh, they're all like melded together into one thing and that's got its advantages. But I think one of the disadvantages to that is if you spend a lot of time edging, I mean on the huge properties, I'm not talking about an acre and below. I'm talking about the big properties with the huge driveways and stuff that edging is just a time consuming mess. Uh, this stuff probably is not your best bet for edging. Um, we like the, uh, we like the gator line for edging and we like the piranha line. If we really need to make a gap and make it deep, we use this stuff. Uh, but for routine edging, and if you've already got the edge established, this stuff is fine. Uh, but like I said, uh, Overuse, it, it it starts to fray a little bit at the end. It, it feathers out a little bit. That's not a big deal. Uh, it's just that it makes the edge not so sharp after a while. You know, I found that this has less welding on it though, guys, than some of the other lines. And you know what I mean. It's, it like melts together inside the spool after a lot of use. Man, that, that, that trimmer line spool is, it's rotating for, you know, a good hour when we're trimming around our big, big properties. And that tends to heat up. Have you ever felt the bottom of that thing when you're when you're done using it? Even for a short period of time, it's warm, right? Imagine using it for an hour, it heats up. And what happens inside of that thing is that the line kind of melds together. Uh, they kind of, well, they, you know, they call it welding. It kind of welds together. And then what tends to happen is it breaks off right on the outlet hole of the spool. You know what I mean? Let me show you an example. So here's a speed feed head that we've recently replaced. Man, I use a heck out of these things. I love them. Uh, but it'll break off right at the hole here. You can see right at the hole, it'll weld together and then it won't feed. And it, and you'll, you'll pump it and maybe one side will feed, but this side won't. And then you'll hit a fence or something and it breaks off right at the hole. What a pain in the ass. Uh, you know what I mean? I've done that I can't tell you how many times. And sometimes that's caused by uh, sometimes it's caused by improper use. Uh, you're just not doing it right. But sometimes it's caused by what I what I called the welding. Uh, and that's an actual term. Uh, it, all it does is melt together inside the spool and then breaks off its pain. Uh, we haven't found that to be the case with this line. Uh, this stuff, we've used this a lot. Uh, and it's never welded on us, as far as I know, not even once. So that I do like about it. So in conclusion, this is a great line. We're gonna carry it on our trailer. Um, not exclusively though, we have other brands that we like for different uses. Like we're still gonna carry the Oregon and we're still gonna carry the Piranha. So, uh, but this has got a place on our trailer for those uh, occasions that we need to use it, uh, which is quite often actually.
Let's go, Max. Come on. Go, Max. Hey, Cage. Hey, Cage. How's it going? Oh, good. How are you? Not bad. Not bad. Hey, uh, hey for, first of all, we got JT and Lex with us today. Yeah. Hey, y'all. The Fridge of Fame. <laughs> What's up, guys? Today, we uh, we told them about the uh, CF3 line that we got from Steel. And we told them uh, what we thought of it. Well, what I thought of it. What did you guys think of it? I thought it was pretty good. Um, it's it's good for well maintained properties and definitely for wooden fences because it doesn't tear it up. That's what I almost exactly what I said in it. <clears throat> it's great for well the better manicured properties. Mm -hmm. But I was explaining to them a lot of the country properties that we do is surrounded by like farmland or yes. woods and brambly crap. Mm -hmm. So the heavier uh trimmer line is best for that but right. next to the houses and the wooden fences that's dang good uh trimmer line so we just wanted to say thanks uh to steel for sending us this we're running out though steel <laughs> uh you sent us this tiny little <laughs> so we finally got some uh mail for the fridge fang yay finally 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 <laughs> yay <laughs> I, without further ado <laughs> KH? Mm -hmm. Don't do that, remember? Yeah. Do the honors. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is from Moosey Mowing and More. No. Had I known, I would have worn my. It's a moose, it's a lawn care hey. thing. Moosey Mowing t shirt. You guys yep. are already on the fridge of fame. Yep, they are. Yeah. Let's but see what I'm let's see what we got. It feels like a magnet. So but if they send us something new, then we yeah. do we do a thing about them. They don't have a YouTube channel. Well, they do. Moosey Moen has a YouTube channel with one video that he published three years ago. <laughs> so I'm going to say you don't have a YouTube okay. But you do have Instagram. Moosey Moen and more. He sent us stickers. We got, we got like five of them. You collect stickers, don't you, Lex? Yes. All right. Why don't you give them some and we'll keep one. Oh. Well, it's the same. It's the same sticker. But same we, sticker. We yeah, appreciate it. Now we, we all have stickers. Yes. Yeah. That's cool. Now Lex and JT have Moosey Mo and stickers yes. now. Yes. That's awesome. Visible. JT, why don't you read the note? It says, Ben and Cage, as stated in previous comments, here are some stickers to help fill up the fridge of fame. <laughs> Robert, Moosey Mo and more incorporated. Robert from Moosey Mo and more, I There's think, a... probably suffers from the same thing I do. <laughs> and that's... I forgot what I did yesterday. Yes. Uh, but thank you again for sending the stickers. Yes. Lex yeah. and JT are happy to have them. It also oh. says, uh, no story, yours to embellish on or just make up. What's that? He doesn't have a, he doesn't have a. He said, here, oh. you can go ahead and read. He said. He's, he's actually got a story on there that he wanted you to read, Dad, oh. is what it said. He's got a story right there that oh, he wants you to read. He's, he says. Uh, as stated in previous, here's a few comments to fill up the fridge fame. Uh, no story, you're still embellished, or just make up. Well, if you didn't write me a note at all, I would have made something up. But <laughs> since you did, uh, there's no reason to. And we're looking forward to hopefully seeing you this winter. Heck yeah. Hopefully things calm down enough uh, that we can come out there and visit you. And maybe we'll bring JT and Lex if they're uh, not too busy. We right? won't be busy. Right. Yeah. So we got another thing. Free up our schedule for that. We got another item of mail, and this one's a package. It's from MLC LLC. I know who this High is. High Point North Kaklaka. North Kaklaka. <laughs> we High like Point those. North Kaklaka. Mm -hmm. All right, let's open it up. Ooh, this is a cool looking color. What? It's a cool color. Ooh. Ah. Boy, that's bright. This is awesome. All right. Mitchell's lawn care. Uh, oh, boy. 
Mitchell's Lawn <laughs> Care. I think he sent the LLC. Size. Uh, turn around, let's see the back. Mitchell's Lawn Care mm -hmm. LLC, commercial and residential. Mom. Go ahead and give him a call. Tell him that's a really nice T-shirt. Hey, mom, that's he's got a. Phone. That's my size. That's he's got a fa he's got a Facebook and an Instagram. Call this thing. number, and yeah. we'll see if he answers the phone. Put it on. What speaker. size is it? Uh, okay. It's it's a you have reached Mitchell's Lawn Care LLC. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message. And we'll get back to you shortly. Thank you, and have a blessed day. Uh. Please record your message. When you finish recording, you can hang up or press one. Uh, Mr. Moosey, I wanted to say thanks that's for the t-shirt. That's not Mr. Moosey, that's Mitchell's Lawn Care. Oh, that's Mitchell's Lawn Care. Uh, Mr. Moosey, if you're with Mitchell's Lawn Care, <laughs> thanks for the sticker. And Mitchell's Lawn Care, thank you very much for the t-shirt. It's a large, and you know I'm a bigger fella. It's a lovely, and I'm so happy you sent it. I'm going to squeeze into it, though, and I'm going to have wa Karen pour a pitcher of water over me. Next video, you should tune in. <laughs> That's fun. Talk to you later. Bye. So where's the, where's the note? Is there a note in there? There was no note. No, no. No, no, no. no, no. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, boy. Oh, no, there's a note. It's on the back of Mr. Moosey's. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys, you guys hanging out together. It's funny that you're not even in the same state. Must be related or something. <laughs> Dearest Ben, uh, you are the most handsome man in lawn care, bar none. Uh, sorry, JT. You're just not that good looking. I thought it, it said, looks like it says JT right no, there. No, it doesn't say that at all. It looks like it also says JT is the best on the... Standard. No, it doesn't say that either. I think it does. I think it says Ben is the best. Okay. I think it says <laughs> KH is the best and that get you on know, with get on with what you, it says. Yes. I get you. Peace there, brother. I get you. I got you. All right. <laughs> moving moving on. Uh, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> and I just wanted to send you a t shirt that's one size too small for you. <laughs> And I'd very much like it if KH would pour a pitcher of water on you when you put it on. <laughs> I just said I was going to do that, dude. I can't believe that. We're definitely oh going to do God, that for you, man. <laughs> Love and hugs. Yep. Mitchell's Lawn Care, LLC. <laughs> Thanks, man. We really appreciate it. That's an awesome, awesome note you left, Mitchell's. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Dude. So... We have come to the point in the uh, uh, the uh, video mm -hmm. that we'd like to answer a question from the Acme A Question Bucket. Okay. LeBold. LeBold, yeah. Nathaniel LeBold with Lawn Scouts? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what was your favorite tool when you started lawn care? <whistles> Who's answering this? Me? Okay, I already answered this one, but we left it in the bucket, so maybe one of you guys can answer it. What was your answer? I'm not going to tell you my answer. You'll have to go back. Mine was already and still is the trimmer. Because. Like, I love trimming. And I feel like I'm really good at it. You are too. good at it. Yeah. What, like, what, do, you know the, do you know the name of your trimmer? FS94R. Oh, I thought it was Robert. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you named your trimmer Robert. What'd you name the trimmer? I didn't name oh. oh, you need to. Yeah, yeah. I do. Right, that's a good what was, That's a new contest. What was your, <laughs> what was your favorite tool? My favorite tool was the Vantage. Yeah. But, uh... Other than that, it was that that pitchfork that I used to for mulching. Show, for mulching. That yeah. changed the game for us when we discovered pitch pitchforks and mulching. That changed it. Do you guys have anything that you would like to say to to uh, the YouTube community in general?
Go ahead. My favorite tool when Ben started lawn care is the couch, the remote, and the YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's all coming out. Oh, uh, come okay. on. <laughs> and, um, somebody asked about your motorcycle. Uh, yeah, you guys can uh, check it out right up here. We'll post a picture post of it up there. Of it. Yeah. It's not the coolest bike, but it's a cool it's bike. Mine. It's a cool bike, though. Yeah, it's a cool so, bike. Is that it? You guys so. love each other. Make lots of money. And peace. peace. See y'all on Saturday. Hey, guess what, guys? We're doing the live thing again on Saturday. But, well, there's one more thing. Yeah. Kodiak Wild uh, passed on the Purple Cup. He doesn't like purple or something. I don't know. I'm just joking. He said give it to somebody... Give it to somebody else. So we're gonna be drawing for the purple uh, wine cup on uh, Saturday. Mm -hmm. So in the comments below, use the word purple in your comment to be entered for a chance to win that sucker. Heck yeah. Nice. Or you could just comment purple, I don't care. Yeah. But Basically extra fun. points, extra points mm -hmm. for creativeness. Yeah. I'll be commenting purple. <laughs> See you on Saturday. Cause I, I have a purple one. <laughs> I am too.